today we are going to discuss about the case statement in the cds views okay so uh, entities uh, so let's see how to use this case statement and uh, when we use this uh, case statement so case statements are generally used uh, when we want to write the conditional you know uh, format for example uh, anything if we want to write with if condition then also we can go for uh, this case statement so let's look into some examples uh, where we can write this uh, at what time we use this case statement for example, um, if uh, we have the period numbers in our uh, data set, for example, if you take any table where we have the you know physical period number and you want to write the text of those physical period numbers, uh, then also we can write this case statement. For example, if the period is 001, then you want to convert this as a uh, not three zeros, two zeros one because it's a three digit number. Then you want to convert, uh, you know, show this zero zero one as a, for example, Chan. Okay. If there is a word like zero zero two uh, physical period, then you want to show it as a Feb. So the if condition, if with one, then Chan. If two, then Feb. So if the if condition, if you want to, you know, achieve this kind of if condition logic in your CDS view, then you can go for case statement. For example, there is an amount column, okay? If the amount is less than zero, then you want to multiply it minus one. Then also you can use this case statement, okay? So let's see how we can write this case statement. Uh, currently, I created one CDS view uh, entity of uh, for on AC Docker data, and these are the columns that I taken for my example. Hmm? Now in this example, whenever HSL is less than zero, which is nothing but it's a negative value, then I want to multiply this value with the minus one. Whenever it is uh, you know uh, negative, then only I want to multiply with the minus one. So if this is a, like a uh, if statement, now I want to write convert it into case case. Okay, case enter when HSL less than zero. Okay, then HSL into minus one else means all other cases. If HSL is not less than zero, in that cases, I want to keep HSL as it is, okay? So like it is, this statement looks like a if condition. If HSL less than zero, then I want to multiply with minus one, else I want to keep HSL as it is. Because it is a case statement, since here we started the case, uh, case keyword, and we need to end this statement also with the end, end keyword, okay? And for, we are done. When, when um, case when HSL less than zero, then HSL into minus one, else HSL end, and this this is entire the logic part. Now this entire column you are you know giving an alias word here as, for example, calculate column CC underscore HSL. Okay, but still it is showing error message. Why it is showing error message means here uh, because this HSL is a currency column, so we need to provide the annotation with the unit uh, you know mapping to it. So if I copy this annotation to here, uh, where I am providing the unit for this uh, new calculate column, then the error gone. Now activate this CDS view, and let's look into the data preview of this one. Right click here, open with the SQL console, let's see. Now look into it. Now, if you see the you we can see the new column CC underscore HSL, and uh, whenever there is a hundred minus, you see it is hundred into minus one happened, and remaining all cases nothing happened. It is uh, looking as it is. So whenever there is a negative value, it is converting into positive value by multiplying with minus one. This is one example of uh, writing case statement. So we can write case statement uh, in a different format also. Okay, means whatever. Uh, let me let's uh, see that example also. So now I am taking now an another example. Now in this particular uh, data set, whenever my company code, which is RBUKRS, my company code is, uh, where it is, one second, not this one. Mm. Whenever my company code is APAC, EPAC, then what I want to do, I want to change this APAC to APAC underscore one, okay? or else uh, or APAC1, I want to change it to APAC1 and the remaining all cases I want to keep the company code as it is. Okay, let's see how we can write this statement. In this one, I am hard coding my uh, statement. 
here it is a logical operator at runtime it will derive you know uh, this thing and it will do this one but when coming to this case case r b u k r s okay when e p a c so i am hard coding so when when b u k r s exactly is apac then i want to uh, change it as apac 1 okay in all other cases i want to keep r b u k r s as it is okay and i am uh, completing my case statement with end keyword and then providing one alias name to it r b u k r s okay so this is the logical territory term. now activate this and then go for data preview So let's see our data set. You see, whenever it is a pack, so whenever there is an a pack, it converted to a pack one, and whenever all other cases, it is showing this H01 as it is, and then GR9 as it is. So only whenever the company code on the row is a pack, only that time it is changing it to a pack one. Okay. So this is another way of writing the case statement. So after the case keyword, we can write the column which we want to you know, uh, do for comparison. And then we can keep on writing all this. For example, I can write multiple uh, uh, case, uh, case statements here, like when a pack, then a pack when. Similarly, for example, when some other word, when GR99, something else is there here. Well, let me check. Okay, we have GR99, right? So when GR99, then I want to you know, like GR90. For example, 99, I want to convert into 90. Like this, you can write, uh, you know, many when conditions here. Activate. Go here. And then just rerun this uh, SQL one more time. Okay. That's very run from here itself. Mm -hmm. Now, if we see here a pack one, and then whenever there is GR, then GR99, you see GR99 got converted to GR90. Okay, so like this, you can write multiple when conditions also on the case statement. So this is a simple example on how to use a case statement. Either you can apply your logical operator after the when keyword, or uh, you can, first of all, after the case statement itself, you can uh, you know write the column which you want to do comparison, and then you can write a number of when conditions like this, and then we are giving the alias name for it. Okay, I hope it is clear. Thank you.